Hey guys, this time I'll be teaching you guys how to make your very own longboard. I want the variety in my channel since my skills in building go beyond just cosplay items. First I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Zach for funding this project, major thanks to him. You'll be seeing him throughout the build since the longboard belongs to him. Starting from scratch, we take a quarter inch thick piece of plywood and cut it in half hot dog ways. I used a 2 foot by 4 foot sheet of plywood to create a 38 inch long long board. Long long. Pick out the worst looking sides of the wood and leave those face up while you squeeze some wood glue all over. We use paint can stir sticks to spread the glue evenly across the entire surface, leaving no empty zones. We decided on a slight curve down the middle, so I set up two levels to raise the wood high enough to add pressure and create that curve. Stack the two pieces on top of each other and start adding weight. We use the bricks outside of my house and for sure could have used more, but oh well, Marika. Once that dries up we removed all the bricks and then traced out the shape of my board since that's pretty much the shape he wanted. But still, I recommend using a large enough sheet of paper, folding it in half, and drawing the shape that you want. It makes it a ton easier to find the center and align the trucks. Once the shape of the board is drawn onto the wood, all you gotta do is cut it out. Now I don't expect everyone to have one of these, but a scroll saw or even a band saw will help this process go by a lot quicker. You want to cut as close as possible to the lines without going past it because you don't want to give yourself too much work sanding it down to the line and you don't want to cut too much off. But since I'm not a professional scroll saw cutter, I had Zach smooth out the edges of the board while I worked on the design of the grip tape. Now this step is completely optional, but we decided to go for it and Zach wanted the Chiefs logo on the top, so that's what I did. I touched up the edges again with uh, sandpaper to round off all of the corners so that it was a little bit smoother to pick up when you're holding the board by hand. After that we needed to drill holes for all 8 of the screws. We thought it was a good idea to drill pilot holes first to help prevent the wood from chipping and cracking. It kinda helped. Next I use a countersunk drill bit so that the screws can sit flat up against the board and not up and out of it. And then I just repeated this process for the rest of the holes. In between all the spacing of the grip tape, we figured a dark stain would make it look a whole bunch cooler. The tape didn't stop the stain from bleeding through, but it did help just enough so that I had a guide to align the grip tape. This is all optional, how you want your board design is up to you, so you don't necessarily have to copy me step for step. Once that dried up, the grip tape was ready to be applied. The way we designed our grip tape, it consisted of five separate parts, so I had to make sure I aligned everything perfectly because this stuff is super sticky and taking it out to try again was going to be pretty hard. So I was being extra careful. Before trimming off the excess, I scored the edges of the board so that I had more of a definitive line to slice off with the X-Acto knife. As for the graphics on the bottom of the board, we spread out some more wood glue, a very thin layer, and placed his poster of choice in place. We quickly pushed out as many air pockets as possible before the glue set. I used the same process to cut off the excess poster, and to fill that gap at the tail of the board we threw on the face of the best looking girl out of the bunch. Once that dried up, we needed a layer of fiberglass to protect the ladies. 3 ounces of resin requires 30 drops of hardener and some really really good mixing. We spread out a good initial layer, laid out a fiberglass cloth, and then threw on a bit more resin until the cloth was all soaked up and sticking to the surface very well. After a few hours this thing becomes rock solid and then I was able to cut off the excess, sand down those sharp edges, and then redrill the holes for the trucks. All that's left is to screw on all the hardware but make sure you put them on the right way or it'll be hard to ride. We found out by trial and error. But once that's all figured out, you're all set and ready to start cruising. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If so, leave a like down below. So I'm going to be alternating my videos between Deadpool and not Deadpool videos. Got to keep the variety going. And so I can attract a whole different crowd of viewers. I hope you guys realize that me creating this whole Deadpool suit is not going to be one whole video. It's going to be in a bunch of different parts. It'll be belt, 
pants, shirt, shoes, gloves, and whatever else I come up with. So I'm thinking a good way to keep my videos flowing is if I keep doing commission videos like these. That way I don't have to rely on all my money to pay for all these projects. If you wanted to commission a build from me, all I require is that it's a build that I haven't done before, so that I could do a new video on it, and I gotta make sure it's something I can handle within a reasonable amount of time. Keep in mind that I have a lot of projects going on right now, so I gotta make sure I have enough time to do the project. And I also gotta make sure I can do the project. So if you're interested, shoot me an email at propitlikeitshot21 at gmail.com. If it's something I'm interested, in, I'll email you back and see if we can work something out. Don't forget to add me on social media if you haven't. On Instagram, I post pictures of what I'm working on, and if you just want to talk to me, Snapchat and Twitter are a good way to get a hold of me. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.